one is the coronary, which is here, number eight. And also over here is the left coronary, right, right in here. Left coronary. And the circumflex goes around back here, number nine, the red one. And the LED is in the front, the red one. And then the pulmonary yeah. trunk is number one here. And the ascending aorta is number five. The arch of aorta is here and around, which is number six. The thoracic aorta is here above the liver, number 76. And the abdominal aorta is number 81 here in the abdomen. The brachiocephalic artery is right here. Branches into the subclavian artery. Common carotid arteries are in the neck. The internal carotid is number 26. Oops. <laughs> okay, number 26, which is here. The internal carotid. And then the external carotid is number 12 on the lateral side. So Clavian, as I already showed you, are here behind. The axillary is number 45, right in here at the very end of the subclavian. The brachial is in the arm, here, the length of the upper arm. The ulnar is number 67, right here, which goes to the pinky. And the radial is here which goes to the thumb. Superficial pulmonary arches is number 73, so it's the outermost of the three I mean arches here. And the deep pulmonary arch is right here in the back, the back arch in the hand. Internal mammary artery is here connected to the intercostals. The vertebral artery is in the back which makes a V in the back of the head. And neck is right here. <coughs> the crestocervical artery, which we are not 100% sure of, but we believe that it's this one, number 41, coming off of the subclavian. And the thyrocervical is this one sticking up out of the top of the subclavian. The ciliac trunk is number 83, which is up here in the front. The ciliac trunk is right in here before the bifurcation of the hepatic and the splenic arteries. So it's number 83. We believe the left gastric artery is this circle here, but we aren't 100% sure on that one yet. Splenic artery, as I said, is here connected to the spleen, and the hepatic, common hepatic, is right here connected to the liver, which is number 87. The superior mesenteric is here, coming out of the very front, which would be number 93. The renal arteries are connected to the kidneys, so it's back here, number 98, right here. The inferior mesenteric is to the left side, sticking out here, which would be number 96. The gonadal arteries are the two that stick out here, the little tiny branches right under number 78. The um, iliolumbar arteries are back here, the little spikes sticking out of the abdominal aorta. These little spikes here. The common iliac artery is in the leg. It's number 101 here in the leg. The very before it bifurcates, right here. The internal iliac is this little branch right here, coming off of the common. The external iliac is this one here. The femoral artery is this one right here, 
in the leg. The lateral femoral circumflex artery is this one which comes around and that is number 118. Which comes around here. Anterior tibial is number 127 in the leg, which is this one right here. It's in the very front. The posterior tibial is um, medial, so it's right in here, in the back of the anterior. The popliteal is back here behind the knee, where it, before it trifurcates. The common fibular is number 137, it's out here lateral. The third branch off of the femoral. The dorsus pedis pulse artery is this one right in here, it's medial. It's what the anterior tibial turns into. Or The adrenal artery is on top of the kidneys, connected to the top, so it's number 97 here. It's hard to show, I'm going to point maybe from the back, right in here, the adrenal artery, connected to the adrenal gland. The pulmonary artery would be the very tips of these, it's number 3 on this side, if I turn it around, it's also these here, the pulmonary arteries connected to the pulmonary trunk. You can stop it, that'll be the arteries.